I haven't got the beans planted yet and that's what I'm doing here this afternoon uh, I've turned over these two beds here and I'm gonna go ahead and plant my beans here around the bean arbor and as you can see I've planted some marigolds at the bottom of the bean arbor here and uh, I actually did not grow these marigolds these were actually popping up out of my raised beds on their own uh, so some of the seeds must have landed in the raised beds and all I did was I dug them up and replanted them where I wanted them so didn't have to go out and buy marigolds this year so that's good and then uh, so here I'm gonna show you how I plant my beans and the beans I'm growing this year are called stringless blue lake pole beans so there we go okay so basically all I do when I plant my beans is I make a few little holes along the trellis here roughly about six inches apart or so and then I just cover them up a little bit like that and just go right along there and cover them up a little bit and that's pretty much it and so when you're planting green beans you definitely want to plant them after the danger of frost has passed and the danger of frost in our area has passed i live in maryland zone six and usually uh, they say in our area the best time to plant uh, beans is to plant them in the middle of may and uh, the temperature of the soil has warmed up nicely and today it's almost 90 degrees so uh, the soil is definitely warm enough so we're going to get these beans started and then see how well they do you can see uh, my blue lake beans have emerged from the ground and, and looks like they're about three or four foot tall right now the marigolds are doing really well the other side of the trellis the blue lakes are doing very well the blue lake stringless green beans are doing quite well as you can see coming along nicely and look on the other side of it over here they are doing quite well so eventually uh, both sides will meet in the middle and then we'll have a nice looking bean arbor there and then we have the blue lake stringless green beans and they have now grown to almost the top of the bean arbor here and the vines of maybe a few more feet and they'll be touching in the middle and the uh, arbor will be completely covered and uh, I've also had a few problems with uh, Japanese beetles there's been a lot of Japanese beetles here over the past couple days and uh, you can see some of them have been gnawing away at the leaves here and uh, normally I, I don't mess with the Japanese beetles I just let them do their things usually in a few weeks they're gone unless they get too bad I might try to spray some neem oil or something on them and uh, try to get rid of them but other than that I usually just let them do their thing um, never had a huge problem with the Japanese beetles the past few years the very first year I started growing uh, beans I had a really big problem with the Japanese beetles but uh, the past three or four years it hasn't really been that bad all right so moving on to the blue lake stringless green beans as you can see they are doing quite well uh, they've completely filled out the bean arbor now so you can walk straight through it you see all the marigolds i got there at the bottom um, but even though they've filled out the entire arbor for right now there are no blossoms on them uh, so i suspect they will be coming out soon uh, you can even see well there's a blossom right there actually but uh, you can see some of these uh, beans are actually climbing over to the uh, the bean vines are climbing over to the cantaloupe trellis too so I might have to trim some of those off there uh, so looks like some of the flowers are starting to come out maybe 
Uh, so looking very good at the moment. Let's walk on around here. We'll take a look at this side. And you can see they're going all the way over the top there. So looking great at the moment. Moving on over here to the bean arbor, you can see the Blue Lake stringless green beans have taken over the trellis. There's not a spot left on there. So uh, probably will be getting some of the green beans off of here within the next couple weeks, I hope. Uh, but it has been taking its time. It's taking a little bit longer than I thought. Usually I get green beans by now. But uh, they just must have a longer days to harvest. But I'm pretty sure I'm probably going to get a lot of green beans off of this. So looking very good. Uh, moving on to the bean arbor. You can see the bean arbor is just completely covered with the Blue Lake uh, stringless green beans. And I can say, honestly say that I overplanted. Uh, next time I plant these, I will probably grow less plants on each side. I grew about six plants on each side of the trellis and this is what I got. Uh, I do have quite a few flowers coming out on them now. I do have some green beans coming out. There's a small one right there. Uh, but uh, I just ever planted them. Uh, but I will definitely get a lot of green beans off these I think. And as you can see the Blue Lake green beans are doing quite well still a lot of blossoms on there and as you can see I do have some green beans growing there uh, tomorrow or this evening I may come back out here and uh, start picking a bunch of them and as you can see it really took over the entire arbor even more so than I wanted it to uh, but that's kind of my fault I actually over planted the green beans. I put about six plants on each side of the arbor and I did not expect the blue leg green beans to grow this vigorously and uh, they did say they were high yields and it looks like that's going to be the case. So I'm definitely going to have plenty of green beans but next time I think I just might have to tone it down a bit on the amount of plants that I put on each side of the bean arbor there. So maybe next year I'll put four on instead of four bean plants on each side instead of six.